make some noise up in this. <gasps> Y'all remember my grandson, Randy? He's a good singer, Mama. You just want to be near my little girl. So, if Tyler Perry fucked the show Glee and they had a baby, <laughs> it would be Joyful Noise. It would be this movie right here. You know what? <laughs> I, 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 I see where you're going with that. It would. And yet... Tyler Perry still would manage a way to add a whole lot more buffoonishness in one of his productions. And a whole lot more church. <laughs> yeah. They would call it joyful ass beatings because you know somebody in there is going to get their ass beat by their husband at some point. <laughs> well, somebody did get ass beaten in this, but I ain't going to say. You know, it's funny it because this movie is about a church choir, and yet a Tyler Perry movie would still have more church in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the majority of this movie takes place in church, and yet Tyler Perry would still beat it somehow. Uh, you know, think about it. It really is like a Tyler Perry movie combined with Glee because it's a lot of church, a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of foolishness, but this time it's, it's multiracial foolishness going on. And they just like with black people, you know, <laughs> yeah. this one, those, this one, those, uh, churches that happen in the alternate earth, you know, yeah. where it's a black church with more white people in it yeah, than yeah. black people. I, I thought it was casted by Captain Planet, <laughs> especially, especially when I see an Asian guy in a gospel choir. I'm yeah. like, what? <laughs> no, no, now see, what y'all don't know is like, in those poor parts of Georgia, they're so poor they can't afford to have only black people. They got to they pull in the poor white people, the poor Asian people. In fact, those white people bought those black people to come to that church. <laughs> but, yeah, man, it's, it's so – what makes me think of Tyler Perry and Glee, I just mentioned the part where it's a very, it's a very religious movie. You know, there's a lot of – a lot of message about Jesus. Oh and, hell yeah! And there's... God and, all, and but <laughs> baby Jesus, baby, <laughs> <laughs> all the Jesuses, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jebus, yeah. all that in there. And then you have a lot of music. You have a lot of gospel music, but the gospel music in here is mostly covers of pop songs. Yeah, with with Jesus thrown in there somewhere. You know, like they got songs like from We Got Jesus on the Wall, Two Sweat Comes Off His Balls. <laughs> All the choir calls. Hey, man. I'm talking about the man on the cross. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get me down. <laughs> there came a point in the church where they say, like, are we going to just die out with our old generation? We got to figure out some way to get some young people in here. And some kid was playing some some recent music, mm -hmm. and somebody just put Jesus, stuck Jesus in there. Like, <laughs> By Joe, I think you guys think we got Every day I'm praying. Every day I'm praying. Every day, every day, every day I'm praying. Every day I'm praying. I'm praying. <laughs> Chopped and screwed and nailed to the yeah. cross. <laughs> but you know, with this, it's... Even though it's preachy, I mean, it's it's for that particular crowd because, I mean, I was looking at the trailer for this and I and co-host and I sat down. I don't try not to have expectations of a movie besides what the trailer gives me. And I was just looking at that trailer. And I was like, man, I do not want to be here. <laughs> and by the end of the movie, I was thinking, you know, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And it was kind of enjoyable, but that can mean anything. And you got a movie <laughs> like this. Yeah, because I mean, so, I, I'm the opposite. I, every time I got, every time I saw that trailer, I was getting nauseous. I'm like, Fuck another movie! I have to see that. I'd, I'd I'd rather be like shaving my balls than watching. It. I mean, God damn! I'm like, God damn! Them old time gospel like, balls. No, like, but with this, you have a lot of people who raise it up a few standards than what we expect from a movie like this, and that is Queen Latifah. And surprisingly, it, it, it just at least for me, surprisingly, Dolly Parton. Well, she, she's been an entertainer, you know, for. Decades, yeah. So it's it, it is like when you first see that she's in it, and first you got to get over the fact that like, all right, she's had a lot of plastic surgery. She's old. She's like Madam, whatever. <laughs> she but that's like Madam. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, But there comes a point after a while. It's like, all right, how many jokes can you make about this? And you actually watch it. You're like, you know what? She actually is pretty charming. I yeah, mean, she's got yeah. all these, these down home sayings that, that come up so much. It's funny because in the movie, Queen Latifah calls her on it like, you know, you got all these folksy sayings. I was like, hold on, bitch. You've been saying them more than her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. you know, if, if, if a dog can't count, then don't feed it sticks. Like, Wait, what? <laughs> what? What does that even mean? Yeah, I don't even get that. She's I, making I, up I, shit now. Yeah. I mean, I can tell you both, I can tell you guys both this. I, I've, it, it's, it's funny to me. As soon as Dolly Parton showed up on the screen, I was like, wow, this is like my cool aunt, like coming yeah. back from years I haven't seen in forever. I mean, I loved her in, uh, 
Uh, rhinestone, rhinestone Cowboy. You mean uh, rhinestone. rhinestone Cowboy. No, it's just Rhinestone. Oh, just Rhinestone? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a keep song, the, Rhinestone yeah. God Cowboy. damn it. They didn't right. make the movie of it yet. Oh, okay. Rhinestone. With Sylvester Stallone, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah that, I loved her in that. I, I, I loved her in uh, Nine to Five. Nine to Five. And also Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> she's very charming. Oh, she's charming as hell. I mean, I love her and both her partners. <laughs> and even though she does, you're right, she does look like she's made by Mattel Toys now. <laughs> but but I, like, it's still, that. there's just that, 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 that charisma about her where I'm like wow why where has she been she should have been doing movies instead of getting lost in obscurity for some reason because I'm like wow she really added a lot to this movie but saying that she's barely in it well I, I well, felt I felt she was barely I, I in it I wouldn't say she's barely in it it's just like when you see that every trailer makes it look like her and Queen Latifah are going at it throughout the entire movie mm-hmm. and which, which I, I was dreading and yet I was happy that like wow this movie is actually like about a bunch of different things about some some dramas that you know that aren't so melodramatic they actually you know they actually have some weight to them these little charming parts and um I don't know it there's a there's a point where Dolly Parton does disappear for a long time but then she comes back and then she kind of like you know like halfway through the movie she comes back and has a strong part I, yeah I, I but I see what you're saying because she, I wouldn't say that she's hardly in the movie I would say that I wanted to see more of her, right? You know. And by the way, I loved her in the best little whorehouse in Texas, but I felt cheated by that movie because I, I, I look, it, it, nothing, nothing new for me. But I've always wanted to see Dolly Parton's breast. I well, still, you know? I still do Google I, I searches. Still do. I still do, yeah. I mean, I'm, and every I'm time crazy. I see the, yeah, every time I, I see the like, fake ones, I get pissed. I'm like, no, that's I'm not her. The best little whorehouse in Texas. That's the one. You yeah, know what I'm it's a movie about whores. Of course, you gonna pull them out. Like, I know. I, I just felt ripped off. There was a, a movie about whores that nobody got naked. <laughs> oh, they got naked. Do- Dolly yeah. Parton just didn't do it, yeah. and I. I remember they got naked because I was watching yeah, the movie. Fast yeah. forward, no. rewound it several times. Well, that, but I was watching it in the room. In the room. My father, I do, I remember this clearly. I was Boy, watching go to bed. No, my father yelled at me. I mean, he saw there was a scene with uh, somebody bust into a room. This girl's naked and her breasts are flopping about. And my my father just looked on like, cut it off. And I was like. <laughs> And I tried to get off. I tried to get off, man. Like, but I'm watching this. He's like, cut it off. Like, oh, but it's a musical. <laughs> See, that was that, that was the first time I learned whores can can actually sing and dance. I was like, wow, I've been wasting my money on just banging them. What the hell? Oh, Why don't the they ones, do a little show for me before? Oh, oh, only the ones with hearts of gold. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All, all the rest of them are just standing. And, 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 and Dolly Parton is starting to look like that saw puppet a little bit. You, you just put swirls on her cheeks and put on a tricycle. But, but, I mean, but she's she, greatness. She, 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 she was for somebody who's 80 years old. She's hot for 80. Oh, she. Man, she's and, hot. And, I, I still like Dolly Parton. No, and dude, her her tits have like their own planetary system <laughs> yeah. because I'm like those things are still like revolving around the, the earth the and are perfectly yeah, them. they're perfectly shaped. They're not they're not falling down to the earth. Yeah, I'm yeah. like wow. Now let's go ahead and get in the mood for people start saying, man, he talked about Dolly Parton for like ten minutes. Huh? This is Dolly Parton remembered right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> but in this movie. You uh, you have a, a church in Georgia. This is in Georgia, right? Yeah, it's yeah. a southern church. It's yeah, southern. oh yeah, and it's yeah. In, in a in a real you know rundown part of Georgia where the economy has hit this place yeah. hard. hard. It yeah. Hit it with a bat in yeah. the face. It's it, it's hit Georgia so hard that. Whistler, who you know used to be Blade sidekick, he's out That's of work. Right. He, be, he, can't, he yeah. can't even afford to fight vampires. Yeah. vampires. No, he has he's got to work at this church. But yeah, Chris Christopherson is the pastor of this church and in the movie. No, 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 no. He's a choir director. Is, is he the choir director? Courtney yes. Vance is the pastor. Oh, okay. I thought. See, I thought that Courtney B. Vance was like some head pastor, and then like. Chris Christopherson was, but he's just a choir director. Yeah. yeah. Well, he, he, no matter what he is, his ass dies like two minutes to the movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> his ass a heart attack. And when the choir director dies, that leaves an open space. And who takes that spot is V Rose Hill. V Rose, you know, I was a black man. Virose. Vi- is it Virose? I said, they, I said, they said Virose throughout the movie, so I'm, I'm going to go with Virose. But her mama <laughs> n- named her V, so I'm going to call her V. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it, it, it's played by Queen Latifah. And she's the new head of the choir. But she's one of those people who wants it done the old school way. She's like, you know, we're going to keep it in the tradition that the old pastor, one old Chris Christopher, the mm-hmm. way he's doing it, that's the way we're going to do it. Now, her rival is Dolly Parton, who's Gigi Sparrow in the movie, and she has a grandson, a badass rebel band uh, grandson named Jeremy, who's just wandered in the town. But he plays guitar, and he brings a little funk to the choir. And the choir is like, you know what? We're great, but we always lose the annual... Gospel competition, uh, maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we do the good. gospel offs. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then that 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 midget Kirk Franklin gets up there and makes us go home. Yeah. <laughs> Are you talking about the guy who's running up there yeah. doing his James Brown impression? James Brown <laughs> Not saying a goddamn thing except yeah. 
Boom. Yeah. But yeah. See, yeah. see, okay, you, you look at it like, oh, that's that's funny they pulled us out of this movie. No, this guy really does. He made a career out of doing this. Oh, Kirk I, Franklin, I, yeah. Are you yeah, serious? I, yeah, he, yeah. Made a, he made a huge career out of paying nothing for these great choirs. He gets up there, just says a few words, does his dance, steps off, collects all the money, hands them a fiver and a coupon for Burger King. And then and, send them and on their me, way. Yeah, I, yeah. I feel real stupid doing the but, job I'm doing right now. <laughs> that's all it takes. <laughs> Anybody who knows Kirk Franklin, Kirk Franklin is a crazy man. Like, he's the rock star among choir people, I mean, gospel people. Mm-hmm. And he does do it. He comes out and does his little thing. Like, yeah. And he gets on the microphone. Uh, God. Yeah. 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 Jesus. <laughs> Can you hear me? Praise him. Yeah. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> that's what he does. <laughs> it's, it's not really singing. It's not really a James Brown impression, and it's not really preaching. It's just a little bit of all those things. Like, not, not enough to really be on his own and do yeah. something. Yeah. And, then he, and then he got busted for porn addiction. Oh, so okay, that yeah. makes well, but I mean, he's, But through the yeah. grace of God, he stopped touching his dick, okay. got back to the gospel, and say. he's back. I know, that, that suit on him looked like it was attacking him or something. <laughs> I, I know, it's like, ah, ah. Help me, help me. me. It was the tightest suit I ever seen. Yeah. I know, it was. It's like, like he borrowed it from his son. Like his, his real suit didn't come back. He said, to the cleaners and he's, he's, he's shrunk it like a little yeah. cartoon he, he was wearing his ventriloquist's doll suit <laughs> <laughs> say what you will All right. he wins every contest yes, every year and this, this choir can't do nothing but they say but you know Jeremy he could help us out but uh, is it By Rose By, By, By Rose is saying look no we doing it the old way plus Jeremy wants to fuck my daughter. <laughs> who, who's, who's the daughter in this place uh, about Kiki? Uh, uh, yeah, Kiki Palmer. Kiki Palmer, yeah. I used to think church music was all corny and whatnot, and then you get up there and it's like, <laughs> I never heard anything like that. You know, I'm a musician too. What do you say, huh? We hit the road, start a band, make some babies that look exactly like you. Oh, you got a nice smile. Always good. Oh, oh my gosh, are you okay? I have to go. I'm going to be late for school. Wait, hey, can I meet you after? I have choir practice. Oh, I'm going to get in that choir. Right. You'll see. And she's like, I'm not having it. And the head pastor's like, we ain't having it either. So the big questions here now stand, the big, the big cliffhangers here mm-hmm. is, you know, will, will Viros actually be able to change, let the choir come in and do their thing and finally win? Will they actually finally win the, the, the competition, the big annual competition? Mm-hmm. Will Jeremy tap that ass? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's off of yeah, yeah. And we'll find all that out we'll on the next As the Gospel Turns. <laughs> 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 but you know um. what, man? I... This this is the kind of movie where the the things that are not so good about it are glaringly not so good. I'm not oh, going to say yeah. they're terrible. We always use this word. They're just very mediocre. Yeah. And one of the things that really stood out to me because at the I would say for the majority of this movie, probably not, not the majority, the first half, I, it was painful to me because this is this is a musical. I mean, because there's just there are moments where they stop and they do whole songs to their end and. For me, if you're going to do a musical, a musical has to progress a story. And there's just not enough story here to progress. So therefore, a lot of this music and the musical numbers here seem like they were just filling. It seemed like they were trying to sell a soundtrack to somebody. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it turned into a music video. But the other issue with it is like, yes, you're right. I mean, it did take a while for me to even like try to understand what was going on. Because I think the main fault of this movie is that there were too many goddamn subplots that they kept jumping on, jumping off, jumping on to the next issue, you know, next issue with the next character they'd bring up. I mean, there was like, I don't know, I couldn't count how many subplots there were, but trying to like figure it all out and try to understand like halfway through the movie, I was really like, Okay, what is the whole point of this? Is I mean, because I was like, this would work better as a TV show. Yeah. Period. Not as a film, because I'm trying to figure out like, okay, what what is the main issue of this movie? What is it that I should care about? Because as soon as they jump on a on, on a subplot, they'll jump onto something else, and they won't resolve that certain subplot until the very end, to where they wrap it up real nice. Well, that's and what tight. I was talking about. Yeah. The main and, issue, and it, and it feels the, like it feels yeah. like you just watched a long soap opera. Yeah. The main issue is the, to get to the the competition mm-hmm. in this rivalry between Gigi Rose and. and and, and, or, or what a sparrow and, and virals or whatever, and and, uh, and and there's just not enough of that. And these subplots, these characters, except for maybe one or two, they're just not all that interesting. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I see where you guys are coming from, and, and I can't disagree with it because it is one of those movies that, like, I would say to anybody, if you think you might like this movie, then you should definitely go see it because you probably will. And if you think you won't, if you looked at this trailer, you go like, this uh, Dolly Parton and Queen Latifah, I don't want to see this. 
Don't go. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's that simple. It, it really is made for a certain audience, a, a family audience. It's a movie that yeah. you know uh, for for. But it's not one of those where I forgive it. Like, oh, it's just for that audience. I mean. It, I think it does a good job of entertaining the audience that it's going after. And there's not a whole lot of movies like this. Usually you do have to wait for a Tyler Perry movie and you got to sit through a lot of stuff that's, but that's genuinely insulting here. The stuff that's bad. It's more like, like you said, it's on a mediocre level. It's like, well, that could have been done better. And like, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of characters around where I go like, all right, they've made a joke out of this. And how many more lame jokes we have to endure with these? Not that many, actually. It's, it's, there's a few, and they're kind of cute. The, the main story is the, the rivalry between Gigi and Vi Rose, and then uh, most of it is about Queen Latifah and her daughter, to her trying to raise two teenage kids. One is a, a son with Asperger's and, a, and just a, a 16-year-old girl who's been a good girl, but like you know, she's ready to break out, and she's got this new temptation. And poor Vi Rose, she's had hardship stuff with her husband, and, and she's just trying to keep together. She's, yeah. she's trying to put a lockdown on everything, and it's just kind of like... You know, you can go to the Bible all you want. Because she's, she's the main one preaching religion. Even more than Courtney B. Vance, the preacher. I'm surprised he didn't roll his eyes yeah. the whole mm-hmm. time. But Because uh, God knows I was. <laughs> I was like, holy <laughs> shit, lady. Are you, quit beating me over the head with your Bible already. <laughs> I was just, I, I, was, I was genuinely surprised how entertaining the movie could be at times. And, mm-hmm. and, and charming. Because I was just like, I'm just going to endure this and get it f- fucking over with. And there are points toward the the second half, and you're right, Corey. It's better in the second half than yeah. the first. That I was actually cheering. It's like the stuff between Kiki Palmer and, and Queen Latifah. I'm like, you, you mean this is actually? Oh, Kiki Palmer. I'm, yeah, sorry, yeah, I'm daughter. Like, this, yeah. this is actually yeah. really good stuff. I mean, mm-hmm. I'd like to see it in a better movie. But if this is what I get, all right, fine, I'll go with it. And all that yeah. stuff, it, it came way too late. It came way too late because it, it, after a while, when when you see Dolly Parton and Queen Latifah get into it, part of me was like, going, you know what? I want that movie now that I was dreading in that trailer. I, know. I want to see the ultimate sassafras <laughs> competition because all those girls were full of sass. And like whenever they were going back at each other, it was like they were on an episode of like, you know, uh, what, what was that goddamn show on MTV uh, where they make mobbing jokes at each other? I mean, where they're just insulting each oh, other. Yeah. That, it felt like a competition between those two. But it felt like I was like, wow, you know what? This this is actually pretty funny, and just seeing them go off at each other was kind of the highlight of the movie for me. Yeah, at some no, this point. this this movie is like I said, it is very preaching, and without a lot of stuff going with it, it gets annoying to me at the beginning. But there was the more there was I saw of Queen Latifah and and Dolly Parton, the more I saw them interact with each other, I was I was enjoying it a lot more, and. Even when it's preachy, it's preachy for the audience that 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 is aimed for. I mean, the audience that is aimed for are gonna love that preaching, get some of that religion. Oh, yeah. I mean, and the, and the the studios they they know that this is a, they know that we are hard times. They know that this this is aimed towards a very religious audience, probably ma- the, ma- the majority of them black in the audience. And mm-hmm. this is a, this is like recession period. Give the audience hope type film. You yeah. know, and you can't go to anything else as religion. So that audience that needs that, I'm not gonna even criticize it for that. Uh, the one thing that I will say is that they have the, the, Queen Latifah. I thought she was I thought she was great in the movie. I, I love Queen Latifah anyway. And there is the, she. First of all, the more I saw her in the movie, the better her character became to me because the character was annoying me too. But finally, the movie just builds up to this thing where I would give this movie. I almost gave this movie a full price just for this one thing alone. I don't know how many movies we have complained about this year where you have these these kids, these teenagers, mm-hmm. white teenagers, I might say, with white parents who mm-hmm. go up there and just not, you know, just act like bitches and <laughs> assholes in front of their parents and they just mm-hmm. tell their parents, fuck off, man. I'll fuck you, dad. Fuck you, mom. Yeah. The parents are just like, why are you acting like this? Mm-hmm. I thought we were cool. You know, <laughs> yeah. Not Queen Latifah. I'm not, mm-hmm. look, I don't want to spoil nothing for nobody, but mm-hmm. Queen Latifah, there's a scene where her daughter tries to mouth off to her, and Queen Latifah slaps the fuck out of her. <laughs> this movie don't apologize for it. She don't apologize for yeah. it. And she tells that girl, I wish your ass would walk away from me. You know, and that yeah. girl comes back in and knows who, and knows what mama is. Knows mm-hmm. who mama is. And, not, and, and mama's going to whoop up on that ass and get out of line. <laughs> and let me add that the entire audience cheered at that the, point. Oh, yeah, because yeah. yeah. we. Well, I, I felt like I got slapped after seeing how they. Oh, ow. I mean, oh my god! I guess things. I deserved that. Yeah, yeah. It was one of those things where when you get when you get a beat down from your parents, uh-huh. and afterwards they tell you, "Now you know yeah. I love you, right?" Yeah, <laughs> I know because it, it got to the point before that. It got to the point where you, this girl's like mouthing off at her at her mom, and you're and, and you're sitting there trying to justify like why is she acting this way, but you couldn't. So I mean, this was this was a great build up to a great scene, but you know, there's moments in the movie like okay the kid with the Asperger's syndrome when he was sitting down with Queen Latifah and he was like going like 
you, you, you know, because he ha- has Asperger's, he's blaming Jesus. Yeah. And the thing is, that scene though, it all, I, I was waiting for that moment that, like, that, that fucking uh, YouTube video where it's like, deep down, I still love you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, was like, I was like, wow, okay, you know, th- that, that's where part of me was like, I don't know whether to, to cry or to laugh because, I mean, I'm like, I felt like I was watching like community drama or something. Well, I don't know. There, there yeah. are moments like that in the movie uh-huh. where, there are some moments of like not bad acting but terrible acting. Mm-hmm. There are some moments where that kid with Asperger's syndrome was all right, but he tried to play it too heavy. When he started doing, because the kid has Asperger's syndrome and he's very musical. In fact, he's a musical genius in this movie. He learns piano yeah, in five I, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but to, his, to get this kid to play a character with Asperger's, they just gave him some shades and said, "Do your Ray Charles impression." Yeah, I and know. that was bad. And then they got a they got a villain in the scene. The guy who <coughs> has his eye on funniest Ki- villain ever. Oh yeah, yeah. he got, has his eye on Kiki. What was it? Kiki, Kiki Palmer. Kiki Palmer. Mm-hmm. And he and you could tell he's kind of a sleazeball. But when Jeremy starts, um, starts like actually making some progress with that. Mm-hmm. The villain gets mad and tries to step up to Jeremy and gets his ass beat. Yeah, <laughs> and when he, he gets his ass beat, he's in a daze. You know, he's like, oh, <laughs> what just happened? You know, it's, like, it's just like <laughs> terrible, man. Wait, yeah, I, I've never, terrible. I've never he, saw somebody who actually looked like they got knocked into next week. Yeah. Well, he was confused. Jeremy beat his ass, like, yeah. Now, now you know I love you, right? <laughs> yeah. I can't speak nothing. Spit my teeth. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. And yeah, I said that that kid must be a real guitar player because he's no actor. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's no. the reason. Like, he's no I actor, and he sure as hell. Ain't no fighter. <laughs> no, he was terrible. Uh, the guy who plays uh, the guy who plays the grandson, Rand- Randy, Randy. Garrity, uh, he's he's good. I mean, I like that guy has a lot of personality. And, you know, it's really funny like how much, how in the in the trailers he just looked so obnoxious to me. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to hear. And when he first came on, I'm like. Fuck this guy. He's going to ruin this movie. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he actually does have a charisma about him. Because they, they introduce him in the trailer. Like, he's like the golden boy that comes and fixes all these issues in this whole goddamn well, movie. Like, God and you damn, can't help but hate the guy. Yeah. Especially when he starts singing. It's like, everybody damn it. Oh, and you're like, whoa. Me, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know what we start doing this job. Calm down. Shit, yeah. I, I know. And, but which is funny because the one thing about this movie I will say that I thought was completely ridiculous was that every time they had a dance number, I'm sure Jay Z was sitting in the audience. He's going, what kind of fucking production do they have in that goddamn church? Because everything sounded like it went through producers and all kinds of stages. But you're like thinking, okay, this is just supposed to be like singing in a room where I can have Leon sing right now, and that shit ain't going to sound like Michael Jackson, where anytime oh, anybody's singing in this movie. You heard me cut loose. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> oh no. Let, uh, hey, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. You cut loose. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead, Leon, blow. Yeah, and, and, and I don't want to turn to the usher over yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and when I say cut loose, that doesn't mean bust a fart. I, mean, I want to hear you sing. Friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, co-host, now, I, I would only correct you on the fact that it being a musical, which it, it established itself it is, yeah. that allows it to break that rule. Okay, if they did, but you know what they did, though? If they hadn't come in and said, Man, the band just ain't that good. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, they just sound like the fucking who or something. No, they sound, they, they, they sound like Earth, yeah, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Goddamn, man. You're like, just one guy bust out his guitar. No, well, let me show you. No, no, no. It's like Prince is playing guitar all of a sudden. You're like, what? Come yeah. on. Uh, I, you know, I, 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 I will say that the, what saves the movie are those musical numbers at the end, though. I mean, man, that 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 one, especially the the one before the last the one, competition, the competition. Was, I was like, those kids, yeah, those kids. Oh like, wow, God, damn, that was amazing. No, and their biggest competition are a, there's not an <laughs> don't, adult don't, anywhere. Don't, that, nobody don't over twelve. Mm-hmm. I think people who age in that band, they they take them out and shoot them <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and get a new one. But they, yeah, that the, the competition is a bunch of kids. I don't know who they are. They must be a real choir, or maybe they're just amazing. I thought it was New Edition, but I was like, <laughs> wow, that's a great. Bunch of new yeah, too. No. But they were amazing, and and then the, and then the final act with the with the choir that always loses was was pretty amazing. I mean, you you can't help but smile mm-hmm. by the end of the film, man. It's it's because it, it ends up being the kind of movie that you want it to be, even if it wasn't in the first half. I, I, I'm, can I get my rating? Go, go for it. Do it. I, I would say that as much fun as this movie ended up being at the end, and how much and how much of a good time I just had with that, and and, and cl- even some characters they had some really the. the a lot of the characters were forgettable, but they had one or two that had some funny running gags in there, more funny than it should be. Out of all of that good stuff in there, the mediocrity level of the first half just still couldn't help me from looking for that Hallmark Channel logo on the, mm-hmm. <laughs> at the corner of the screen. Oh, yeah. But I, that, that, it, I would give it like a really positive rental. I mean, this is something that I could – if I was watching this at home – I would watch the whole thing, and I would be in a good mood for the rest of the day. You know, even though I think I liked it better than you, I'm I'm right there with you. I mean, it's you know, 
you could watch and go like, ah, it's it's a bunch of sentimental claptrap. And like, yeah, that that's in there. No, mm-hmm. no doubt about it. And it's it stars Queen Latifah and Dolly Parton. If you came in and you get mad because that's what it is, I'm sorry, it's on the poster. I don't know, what, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but if you if you like if you like these kind of movies in any kind of way, I think it's very enjoyable. It, it hits a lot of its marks way better than you expect it to. Um, I because of the mediocrity and you know bad acting and and you know America has just been American idolized. So music oh, has yeah. just come to be. Th- this is this is what f- is fed to everybody. If they don't do this, you're gonna have a lot of people upset. So I I could accept it. And even see, even even like the lame singing was not as lame as I thought it was gonna be. I did have to laugh today every time Kiki Palmer sings. She just made her face ugly. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like sweetheart, you beautiful girl. Maybe maybe singing not for you. I don't know, man. You know, yeah, you like, you know just, somebody can yeah. sing good. Yeah. It's like that's how you know you have good sex. You mean when they make that ugly face? Oh, you make that yeah, face you like know. you drank a whole jar of pickle juice. That, 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 that's somebody straining. That's, that's a face you make. That's like saying like, well, you know they shit good when their face goes up like that. It's like, no, I mean they be eating a lot of cheese. <laughs> I was waiting for Queen Latifah to go, baby, baby. Stop that shit with your face. You, yeah. You're going to scare everybody out of the auditorium. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, I mean, it, it's, it's a good time. And especially for mothers and daughters, I would even say, hey, maybe you should go out and see it. Mm-hmm. But for me, I give it a very high rental. Yeah. yeah it's good for mothers and daughters. <laughs> we need to learn how to slap the shit out of the kid every once in a while. <laughs> but, uh, but you know what? The thing is, uh, you're right. This is one of those. It's one of those sentimental claptraps. But you know what? War Horse was a whole lot worse th- yeah. than this fucking movie. Where War Horse needed fucking Dolly Parton riding <laughs> riding that fucking horse down to keep me in shit and have that fucking horse sing a song too. Where yeah, <laughs> but you know, I mean, but this, God. yeah, I know exactly. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, no, good no, God, no, y'all. No, yeah. no. Gee, trying to wear that same suit. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> of course, out like Kirk Franklin, galloping around. <laughs> Put a, yeah. Put a saddle on him. Have Queen Latifah <laughs> ride and they, they, her, her and Dolly Parton could go at it. Yeah. Well, he's but, like Kirk Franklin, come out kicking like a horse. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only yeah. thing he did. God. <laughs> Jesus. Go ahead, but but no, there were there, you know the thing is this movie for me at least didn't get good until the very end when it was about the competition and especially seeing those fucking kids go off. You're like, how can you not love that? Mo-? I like, I want to go on iTunes just to get that song that they sang. Right. When, and I think there's only two words like Jesus. Love him, Jesus, and that was it. But I, I want to get it because it, that was a damn good song. Uh, and but there's moments like that where it's fun. Queen Latifah and Dolly Partner, you know, they're seasoned at what they do, and that's being charming. And they pulled it off with this. Um, but yeah, I mean, there th- this did feel too much, like too many subplots going on. Uh, and I, I was subjected to sitting there watching a, a, a Hallmark Channel movie. So I mean, I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a rental on that. Is, are those kids a real? A, a real group? I don't know. They I'm, better be. I'm a real <laughs> if they are, I'm, I'm, I'm buying that album. Tomorrow. I'm buying that album too. That yeah. that kid who they have that ki- they, they, in the movie. You just got to see the movie for these kids, man. Nothing else. Mm. They got one kid who's the lead singer. This little black kid, and he was working that show, man. He was bitches were throwing bras and panties. <laughs> yeah, at him. I he pulled one chick backstage. <laughs> I know. Michael Jackson was in the grave, going, "God damn." <laughs> <laughs> we just go to Los Angeles and we do our best. Don't look at my butt. I'm a good girl. Stop. <laughs> I'm very, very proud to be your mother. I love you. Joyful noise. Quit it with those nails, Edward Scissorhands.